All right, this is Jolie here, four seconds out. Casey Kademi, it's a pleasure to see you ahead of a massive fight, a trilogy fight as well. How are you? Yeah, I'm well. Thank you for having me. This is it. Third fight now. Um, I spoke to Ijaz and I said fighters who are in trilogies are often entertaining fighters and it's big for people's career. Being able to fight someone three times means it's exciting. Oh, definitely, 100%. I don't think uh, domestically a trilogy has happened for a long time. So that being happening, it's great for boxing. Obviously, it's for the British title as well. Yeah, for the British title as well, which makes it even bigger. <laughs> for you as a fighter, fighting for the British title, obviously you fought for it last time, it was a draw. Um, but to win it would be... It would be massive. I mean, I'm, it's for me, I've always dreamed it since I started boxing, becoming a British champion. Um, so I'm that close to it. I mean, last fight was close, but we took a draw, so no one took it. This time I want to come and grab it this time uh, on the 11th. I want to walk out with a belt being around me. Uh, so, you know, it's all about making history for me and that on 11th of this month I'll, I'll, I'm, I'm definitely going to make a history. He said um, it, a moment ago to me that you have yes, ran, yes men around you and you didn't, he doesn't, obviously you know he doesn't think he, uh, he thinks he won the second fight and you have yes men around you telling you that isn't the case. Well, if anyone that knows their boxing, watches their boxing, I won that. So, you know, anyway, I can't. I don't even want to talk about those fights. They're past. I can't change them. It's what the judge has given him. He's got people just talking in his ear and he's boosting his confidence up. He's coming up. Like he's going to smack me and all that. He ain't going to do shit. But going into the third fight, what do you feel like you're going to adjust from the first two? Um, well, we're going to stick to... We're going to stick to the game plan, which is all about... Hitting and not getting hit, and making it you know come out unanimously. And this time on TV, a hundred percent, yeah, on TV. <laughs> They've been entertaining fights as well. Um, obviously, for you as a fighter, the less entertaining, obviously, the better because hit and not get hit is, should be the aim. I mean, that's what boxing is all about. It's a game of chess. I mean, you, you, if you want to watch, you know, on the street, a bowl two guys smacking the hell out each other. You can watch that all day. On a Friday night, Saturday night, go on a you know, on a high street or anywhere, and, you know, you see that. But um, boxing is like a game of chess, and people that has hit and not get hit survived longer in the sports. Uh, and um, that I mean, that's what it's all about. So for me, boxing has always been that. Obviously, fighting on BT Sport, you get good exposure. But like I said at the start, fighting in a trilogy as well, that just it just adds something, doesn't it? Oh, definitely a very excitement. I mean, a lot. Like I said. The the two the last two fights have been very controversial. No matter what he says, even after the first fight, it was very controversial. Josh Taylor, everyone had me winning. A lot of people had me winning. A lot of people. Uh, it's based how you look at it, you know. Um, so uh, that's why the controversial happened. That's why the BT put the second fight. It's not because the BT wanted me to fight for the British title. They said, you know what, the first fight, a lot of people had me winning, including a lot of major people uh, from from BT and. They said, you know what, let's get this fight on. So that's what happened. And um, he's talking about, oh, uh, he, he wouldn't. I mean, if you won that first, you didn't need to fight me. You, see, you know what I'm saying? But like I said, I'm um, uh, 11 June. Um, we're going to be victorious, man.